Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my guide on Airport CEO. Today we will be looking at baggage belts, but before we do that we also look at holding points for a bit because we just had a patch and it got upgraded a bit and now the graphics are more clear so now I understand them better. Uh, as you can see here I now changed the holding point from being here to being here. The reason for that is if I do it here, which we had before, the holding point is actually basically the airplane will go here and it will hold here while waiting for the landing for the runway to clear up so that would mean that an airplane could just come into here and crash into it which is not good so now i understand them better it's just basically a line that designates where the airplane can stop if it needs to stop so this is a good line to have and then this is a good line to have as well as you can see here there's actually some text because this is the concrete runway so it's a little bit more advanced all right let's dig into luggage in order to do that, we need to procure it. But in order to do that, we actually need a COO, as you can see there. So we can go to staff, we can go to the board, we can have a COO, the chief operating officer, and look for applicants. And just hire someone now. Now it's in the board. So now we can actually procure that. Um, it actually takes 20 hours, so that's quite a while. So I'll just fast forward until the time comes. While we wait for this, what we could already do is basically build a, a luggage area. So what we can do is go to foundation, have a small area designated for that. It doesn't have to be very big. Something like this is fine. And then we have to bring a service road there because the carts have to be able to bring and take the luggage to the airplanes and from the airplanes. So what we need is more service road. Bring it here. And somewhere here. And then we basically need to wait for the procurement to finish. All right, procurement is almost done now. As you can see here, we have two hours left. So as you can see, I did a couple of more things. I now added some seating area here together with some trash cans that I spread all over the airport in order to have people make less of a mess. But the seating area is also quite nice because otherwise people will be kind of waiting here and before they check in and that's kind of silly so I want them to be inside so as you can see at the moment there's kind of a bug going on here's the zoning and if I toggle zoning then you can see the zoning here <laughs> so I can't turn both of them off unfortunately um, but for now that's fine so as you can see here we're still refueling everything if we want to set the prices for this we actually need to look at the economic screen if you're interested in that uh, you can look here at economy and then here at fees so if we actually have a chief financial officer we can set the fees for p uh, aircraft that want to land and if uh, they want to park somewhere as well as for the fuel a uh, bathroom entrance fee we can have so we can enter all of these things i don't think that they really affect much yet because well I don't think the people's happiness actually really matters at the moment yet. So you probably can set them as high as you want, but I haven't really played around with it yet. So in the meantime, our eh, our baggage handling service got unlocked. So we can unlock more stuff, but we won't look at that now. So now let's look at how it actually works. So we have items here. We have a baggage bay and baggage belts. So let's start with the bay. The bay is basically the area where the cars will come in order to drop off and take luggage. So as you can see, it needs service road. So we need to get rid of this part here and then we need to build service road over here. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, people can't come here really yet. So what we can do is we can have large doors here and then add some actual service, ro uh, sorry, a sidewalk here. And then fast forward it. So once they have demolished this wall, we can complete the service road. There we go. Now they just need to build the actual baggage bay. In the meantime, while they're doing that, what we can do is we can build actual baggage belts. So basically what we'll do is this baggage belt will go here and it will bring the luggage to the baggage bay. So we can draw it here. Then I want it to go underground. So if I hover over baggage belts here, there's also an underground belt. So I'll take that here. As you can see, now it will go underground. And now I want it to go to the right. 
and as you can see uh, let's actually do that like this now let's go above ground again here we go this one is where the luggage comes in from the check-in goes here and then it's brought to the airplanes so what we need to do is connect these and now it will be nicely connected and this is basically where the luggage comes out after the people have landed they want to have their luggage back so if we do like this and actually then maybe a little bit like this first let's see it's kind of bugs out it's not perfect yet here we go then we just take the underground one and the problem is that we cannot have them crossing at all. Not even an above one, above ground one can cross over an underground one. So what we need to do is basically we go straight a little bit. And then I go like this. And I go like this. Like this. And then I'll just have the luggage area right over here. You can have it wherever you want. But in this game it's fine if you just actually have it in the check-in area at the moment. Of course you can make a very nice baggage belt here just before they leave security as well um actually i'm not sure if that would work because it has to have its own area called baggage claim so i'm not entirely sure whether that would work because i've always had them in a check-in area at the moment but in any case so we can make baggage belts and let's have the above ground ones now here we go so the luggage will go from here, go all the way here, and then come here, and whatever is not picked up in time will just fall on the baggage belt again and keep going. All right, so what do we do now? Well, now we first wait until this stuff is finished, but at the, at the same time, we can also start making another vehicle bay a little bit closer by, a vehicle depot, and we can order some actual service trucks. So at procurement, there's these crafter service trucks. We want to have some of those. Let's order five of them. Here we go. So now we can actually see what we need to do when we click here on activate. It says we need to connect it to check-in desks, a stand, a baggage claim area and service road. So service road we've already done. Now we just need to connect it to this baggage bay here. If there are flight schedules you cannot do it. So now this is connected. Then we need to turn this here into a baggage claim area. And then we can connect that to this one as well. And then we can connect this one here to connect baggage bay right here. And this one as well. Then we need to activate it. So we go to operations. And then we say ramp agent service round enabled. So that the airplanes are actually inspected by the ramp agent. Because you need that in order to activate this. But for that we first need to actually hire some. So if we go to the ramp agent, we just hire all of them and maybe some more. There's none available at the moment unfortunately. But we just go to operations then and we activate this and then we activate the baggage handling system. There we go. So now this stand is connected to a baggage bay and can transfer baggage. Perfect. I already took the liberty to schedule some more flights uh, for tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. So basically we will see everything working immediately. Once this is all finished here. Although something here is not good. Um, let's actually bulldoze these. To make sure nothing goes wrong. And there we go. So when you have these belts, you can actually see whether they work by looking at these animated arrows, whether everything is going in the right direction. Because sometimes you might have it that it's actually just facing downwards or something and you don't want that. It needs to be like this curve, otherwise it doesn't necessarily work. Or you might run into troubles. Like here, for example, it works fine, but you might still run into troubles if you put, for example, two belts next to each other and suddenly one of them turns into it. You can see that by looking at those arrows. So now we just have to wait for the next day. 
an employee cannot reach its place where it wants to go. Well, that's fine for now. Probably because there's no security here. We just hired them and now they can't go through there, I guess. That is the problem. The last thing that we need to do now is to activate this belt. So we click on it and we say activate. And now it says it's active and can transfer luggage. So you can increase the amount of agents that are there per side. So let's say I do this. That actually costs two more people because there will be one extra here and one extra there. But we also need ramp agents to actually help at the airplanes. So it's good to have quite some of them. So look, there's some more available. Just gonna hire them. And all of this is not exclusive to these big flights. We can also have small flights. We also just have to connect the baggage bay there and it works exactly the same. So now next time when they will check in, which will be fairly soon, uh, we can actually see. Here now they will start checking in and you can see the luggage going over this belt here. And then it should come out here. Nice. And then once the airplane is ready for it, then the luggage will be picked up by one of these service trucks. Uh, there's none in here yet, but I guess they're all stored here at the moment. Yes, service trucks. But they'll come back here at some point. So now we just need to wait for the flight to arrive, which will be fairly soon. And then we'll see how the baggage is actually unloaded. Here we go. Airplane arrives, people come out, and now a service truck should come, there it is. As you can see here, it has a couple of these trolleys. There's already a ramp agent here. They're at the moment doing the service round. As you can see, it's a big flight, 105 people, so that gives us good money. Now they start carrying the suitcases here. Stacking them up. All right, now this one is done. So it will go here. And it'll come here, unload them. And they immediately go here to this area. Of course now it's a bit messy because all those workers are there. And this one here is waiting because they have this luggage here. See? So now they're going to pick it up. And they've picked all of it up and they're ready to go home. So now we just have to wait for this here to be picked up. Because this flight is leaving soon so a truck should come soon maybe it's this one no it's not here we go now it will be loaded in there and we are ready to put it in the plane there we go so now the plane should be ready to leave so that's how baggage belt work. You can research some more things like scanners and things like that, but this is just a basic principle of luggage carrying. So to summarize, we need to get it from the check-in point with conveyor belts here to these arrows. Then we need to have another conveyor belt that goes to a baggage zone, baggage claim zone. Then we need to connect the check-in and the baggage claim zone both to this place. We also need to connect the flight uh, to this place as well. And then we need to have a vehicle storage area with these special service trucks, these crafter service trucks, and we need to have some ramp agents. And then as soon as you click activate, everything will work and you will be making money. So I hope this guide was useful to you. Uh, sometimes it can bug out. I've had it that basically a lot of luggage was stacked somewhere, um, unfortunately. But 
overall, as long as you follow all these steps and nothing gets stacked up, then everything should work. But the developers are looking into making it all more friendly, basically, that even when luggage is not claimed by a person, that then it's removed. If you ever run into those problems, you can also click on the luggage and say mark for removal, but that's a lot of manual work. So the developers are looking into it, but for now, at least like this, it does work. So I hope it was useful and see you next time.